Welcome back to Upfront and our look at the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. What happened with it to date and what needs to happen with it going forward? The WEDC was created out of the old State Commerce Department. Two former Commerce Secretaries, Bill McCoshin and Corey Nettles, were involved in a 2010 study called Be Bull Wisconsin, which recommended forming a quasi private entity to spearhead economic development. We're joined now by Bill McCoshin, who's managing partner in Capital Consultants and who served under Tommy Thompson, and Corey Nettles, managing director of Generation Growth Capital, who served under Governor Jim Doyle. It's good to have you back on the program. Good to be here.、Thanks. Bill McCoshin, let me begin with you.、Uh, what happened to this agency? Why hasn't it performed the way some people thought it would, the way you thought it would, or, or has it, frankly? Well, I, I, I think it's been off to a rocky start, but let's back up a little bit to your intro. And that's, this was formed by Competitive Wisconsin, formed a committee that was called Be Bold Wisconsin that led to this idea. Corey and I were on that committee. It was co chaired by the two deans of the business schools in, in Wisconsin,、uh, Mike Kinetter from Madison, Linda Sulchenberger from Marquette.、Uh, this was the biggest centerpiece of that report back in the summer of 2010, and, and it was embraced by both candidates for governor, Tom Barrett, Scott Walker. It was a really, really good idea that was poorly executed, unfortunately. And, you know, the, unfortunately, you know, since that time, you've seen more bad press than good press. I still think it's a good idea. I still think it can work, but they've got to make sure that they get, get their house in order sooner rather than later. Still a good idea, Corey Nettles, just poorly executed? Exactly. Poor execution, good idea. I mean, the whole premise was to jettison or to streamline the agency, get, a, get a, all the distracting non economic development functions out of it. So, that the organization could really focus on the economic development mission. That was the good idea, the big idea, and the execution has been terrible. We just failed to really track through、uh, all of the functions and all of the programs and to make sure there was good visibility and accountability around、uh, how those programs were being managed. Give me a sense of, of your view of, of how、uh, this, this agency has done business. Has, have people just been. Asleep at the wheel? Have board members not been involved? Has the governor not been involved? What's happened here, Bill? Well, the governor、you? may be too involved. I mean,、uh, one of the things we recommended, we, we did recommend a board to oversee the organization, but we did not recommend the governor chair it, nor, nor did we recommend lawmakers be on it. I mean, in some ways, that makes it a little more political,、It's、probably political more political than、game. it should be.、Yeah. Whether the governor's a Democrat or Republican doesn't really matter. I mean, these transactions should stand on their own. And I think the one thing in these stories that has not come out is there's really good people that work there and have been there a very long time and they have lots of experience in finance. They come from the banking industry. And, you know, if you, if they, if you allow them to do their job, they're going to do it right and they're going to do it well. And that serves folks like Corey and I, who are the secretaries,、uh, immeasurably. Corey Nettles, we, we hear people today say, you know, the, the current CEO's got to go, Reed Hall's got to go. You have some Republican lawmakers saying, We need to take a whole other look at this and how state money is being used、uh, to retain and attract business. Do we have to fundamentally rethink this, or is this just a matter of tweaking? No, I think it's fundamental. I think you need a top to bottom relook at organization, structure, programming, et cetera, also at the leadership. Now, I don't presuppose what that outcome will be, but I think given the amount of noise that there have been, the amount of concerns coming out of the, le the Legislative Audit Bureau as they've done their biennial assessment, I think you really do owe it to the people of the state to say, okay, let's step back and let's take a, a total new look at this and confirm that it is still the right、uh, idea, the right model, the right structure, and confirm leadership. Again, that's not presupposing what the answer to that is, but I think as, as stewards, we have a responsibility to do that and then to make some decisions about how we go forward with current leadership. And with the current structure. Yeah. yeah, there have been two audits on the agency, both fairly negative, and the first one provided the roadmap. Okay, so it got off to a rocky start. Here are the things that need to be corrected. Sadly, at least in my opinion, the second one said some of those things still had not been addressed. I mean, you have to fix those things that have been identified by the Audit Bureau. First and foremost, and, and that wasn't done. So ultimately, the governor's got to make a decision on who he wants to run the organization. I think one of the things that served Tommy Thompson well was he had folks in place like me for four consecutive years. Corey did a super job when he was Commerce Secretary, but one of the knocks on the Doyle administration is they had seven Commerce Secretaries over the course of Jim Doyle's term. So I think consistency is important, too. You've had a lot of changes in this, this, this agency. I mean,、yeah. a lot、yeah. of changes in leadership and people who are just beneath the leaders.、Um, is that part of the problem that there's been so much turnover? Were, were we in such a hurry to get on to the mission that we didn't get some of the basics done? 
uh, yeah, I think, I think I, the, the turnover is never healthy. I mean, there was something like four CFOs, call that the number two person in the organization, four CFOs in three, three and a half years. Yeah. It's really hard to have good accountability, good practices, good processes put in place and managed when you've got that kind of turnover. So that's not, that's not healthy. That's not good. Reed has been a fairly constant leader there, had a very distinguished career in the private sector before coming into government. Um, so I think you have to you know, give him credit for having stayed through that, even when he was maybe looking to step down to be re-upped, I think that's a good thing. But again, you have to look at all of that top to bottom again. I think the challenge is when do you do that? With the governor now in a presidential campaign or presumed to be in a presidential campaign, everything in the agency is under hyper scrutiny right now in a very hyper partisan way. And that's not healthy for the agency and that's not healthy for the state. So I think we have to figure out when can we create some space to have a good constructive look at this and to do that in a way that's not hyper partisan. Is it hard to do this, Bill McCoshin, given the politics, given the fact that the governor's running for uh, in all likelihood, running for president. If you could set that aside, the answer is no, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, economic development should be the one issue that Republicans and Democrats can agree on all the time. Uh, and that, that has happened in the past, both mm -hmm. in Corey's tenure and in my tenure. We got a lot of big things done with bipartisan support. Uh, you know, the governor running for president adds sort of a complicating layer, but he himself took, him, took his role as chairman uh, out in the state budget. He took the, the legislative leadership off the committee in the state budget. And I think actually those are good moves long term. All right, I'm going to take a quick break now and uh, we'll come back. But when we do, I will continue on my conversation with Bill McCosh and Corey Nettles, including the future of the WEDC. Tell us what you think about the WEDC. Is it working as intended or do you think it should be changed? Tell us by liking and sharing up front on Facebook.